So you want to start making pop punk, but you don't own a single instrument, fancy studio, drum room, professional engineer. Don't worry. I've got you. Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to show you how to make a pop punk type beat like the new Travis Barker, Sweco, Kenny Hoopla, all of that new wave. No, not hit. First, set the BPM to 168. On guitar, write a power chord progression. If you don't have a guitar, just type in anime guitar and splice because most anime openings are pop punk anyway. But use more interesting chords so you can chop them up and rearrange them. For the first seven bars, filter it in with RC20. Then on the eighth bar, just play him in full glory. Since this is a splice sample and I don't have perfect pitch, I don't actually know the chords, but it follows a very common progression in pop punk. So if you have the brain power to figure them out, comment them below, please. Make a drum rack with electronic drums that I promise that we'll use later in the song. Some ambience in the key of the song to set the mood. The same thing with a singular guitar note. Hi-hats. Rim shot. And don't forget the classic Travis Barker snare roll. Altogether, this sounds like... Make a kick and snare pattern that some producers think is a drum and bass one, but has too many kicks for that. To get awesome sounding drums like these, I use a plugin called Steven Slate. This version I have is actually hella old because I've used this program to make MIDI live rock drums forever. But there's a free version available now on their website. This isn't sponsored, but I still think Slate drums are the best out there. So this plugin is actually super poggers. Did I really just say that? But what's cool about it is you can pick all of these different kits. The one I used for this song was called Roomy Rock because I like how big the snares are. And it comes with like a mixer so you can mix everything in exactly how you want it with envelopes and everything. But the best part is this grooves library where you can literally just drag and drop in MIDI and it sounds super real. But at the same time, since it is MIDI, you can just go in and not want those snares. You can just take those snares out. You want to move those kicks around? Just move those kicks around. Steven Slate, best drum plugin. I know there's similar ones out there, but I believe this is the best sounding one. And these groove libraries just makes everything hella easy. So grab the free one off their website. Like I said, not sponsored, but Slate, if you're listening, <laughs> let's talk. But if we're actually talking sponsors, let me introduce you to today's sponsor, DistroKid. It's a service that lets you put music into online stores and streaming services. That includes Apple Music, YouTube, Amazon, TikTok, Tidal, Spotify, and more, aka where everybody is. The coolest thing though is DistroKid collects earnings and payments and sends 100%, that's all of it, to you, minus the banking fees of course. And on top of that, it's even more, just, yeah, you know the, the releasing music's fine, but they also have automatic revenue splits with splits. So if you collab, you can tell us who to pay, how much to pay them, they'll do the rest. They have Hyperfollow, which gives you that page with all the links because you have all the stores. And once your release goes live, you can click on all of them. You can add your lyrics and more. There's even a goodies menu, but I can, I'll can i get into that another time. Thank you to DistroKid for supporting and sponsoring this video. Get 7% off your first year if you use my VIP link. Now let's, fig now let's finish this song. Copy and paste the guitar loop from earlier. Double the track, pan one left and one right. For this track, I had to use a utility to split the signals so that only the left one would go through on the left one and the right one would go through. I'm not sure if the creator mixed them in this way, but I'm just doing this to be safe and it sounds great.
For the bass, I used a sample in the same root note. And then chopped it up so it's like I'm playing a pop punk bass. That's what the pattern looks like. Using the free plugin BOD to make it crunchy. Don't worry if this sounds robotic because the more in time punk bass is, the better. I used to be in a band and one day our bassist couldn't make it to a show, so we made the laptop play bass. And to be honest, nobody could tell. Because all you really need is that transient and that crunch. Next, put a compressor on it in sidechain mode. I linked it to the drums and lowered the threshold until the drums barely punch through and the bass stays beefy. Careful with this because we aren't EDM. We just want the transients to poke through a little bit because listen once these sloppier guitars and drums are all combined. The more robotic bass helps keep it all in time. Add a lead guitar using Ableton's free guitar plugin that I, I didn't know existed, but you can just download it off their website. Harmonize it with another sample. Beef up the harmony with Ableton's amp plugin on these settings, along with cabinet. Add reverb and overdrive to give it space and crunch and EQ out where the vocals will eventually sit. All together, sounds like this. Halftime drums that would make Alex Melton proud. But switch it back to full time because we're not metalcore enough for that. Add an octave lead to our guitar chord progression. Normally I play and record these, but in another sample, they just had them, so it works out. Also just adjusted the ending a little bit to fit better with the overall arrangement. Match the bass rhythm to match the guitars. This makes everything feel bigger and heavier. Copy and paste the riffs and harmonies from the verse. And all together sounds like this. If you're coming from EDM, you'd probably just copy and paste it from the first verse, but we're better than that. So instead, we write an awesome lead riff to differentiate this part of the song from the last ones. Using the electronic drum rack from earlier, add a trap kick, trap snare, fast hats. Use the bass guitar as an 808. And now you have perfect drums for your hyper pop vocalist friend that you're gonna feature. Ambience, reverses, and white noise to help you smoothly transition back into live drums. Now we just copy paste everything. Uh, but let's change the ending a little bit. Ooh, also, panned guitars. And I'd play this all together, but let's work on the... Now, after arranging the song a little bit, it should look something like this. And for the outro, we're going to add an acoustic guitar, because of course we are. I set the sample to mono so it doesn't sound wide. And vocals, yeah, they're totally easy. Definitely not involved at all. 
<clears throat> I mean, but just write something catchy and relatable. Don't worry about fancy words, just something that everyone can sing along to after hearing it for just one time. You don't even have to write about anything serious. Write about Spider-Man if you want, because who's more relatable than Peter Parker? Solving all my problems as I'm swinging through these buildings. Wait, does this make it Peter Pop Punker? Peter Parker Cannon? Spider Punk? Is this now a fake genre video? Either way, since it's Spider-Man themed, let's make the webs a snare. And a few samples from the movie, because what's more mid-2000s than including movie samples in your pop punk song? I missed the part where that's my problem. And hey, if you made it this far, you're incredible. You're a legend, even. This song actually started out as a little stream meme song that I ended up over obsessing and putting like 30 hours into. So if you support what I'm doing, even just liking the video and subscribing to my channel helps my content reach more people and lets me keep doing this. If you want to support me even further, check out my Patreon. Even just the $2 tier helps me way more than you think. Plus, you'll find this project file along with a more detailed breakdown on how I recorded and processed my vocals. But enough talking. Altogether, it sounds like I missed the part but that's my Scientist myself. Just on the road, how does the world feel? Got my friends, 